My name is Donald Brady, I'm a human performance specialist and I'm here today to talk about uh, balancing work and life for the entrepreneur. The average working week for an entre uh, entrepreneur or small business owner in Ireland is around 64 hours. So uh, most entrepreneurs who are coming into business, starting a business for themselves, certainly aren't doing it to uh, reduce the number of hours that they, that they work. But what that does point to, of course, is that ultimately work-life balance can become an issue because they're spending so long and so many hours working as opposed to playing. Work and life balance, I suppose, means different things to different people. But uh, for an entrepreneur in particular, I think what it really means is uh, the ability to enjoy life while also enjoying running a business. When you're starting out as an entrepreneur, I think it's fair to say that there's very little work-life balance. Um, I think it comes with the job that you're going to work long hours and there's going to be very little uh, play time within that initial period. It is important, though, that that initial period should be relatively short and that as soon as possible you can get back to, to actually enjoying the other things uh, outside of work. When you're starting up a business, I think it's fair to say that there is very little work-life balance, that you're going to work very long hours and uh, there's not going to be a lot of uh, enjoyment outside of the, the adrenaline of setting up that business. For an entrepreneur who's recognized the need to achieve or to change the work-life balance that they have at the moment, what they really need to do is, uh, first of all, to identify what it is that's important to them as an individual. Uh, and, of course, then to, to make time or to put time aside to actually work on that particular area of their life, whatever it happens to be. Um, in addition to that, I think what, what people need to have, they need to have a, a uh, foolproof system of recording their uh, commitments, uh, of uh, recording what it is that they want to do and what they want to achieve. Um, they also need, of course, to develop good time management skills, possibly delegation skills, which is a big issue for, for a lot of entrepreneurs. That ability to let go can be quite, quite difficult to develop. The keys to uh, managing and reducing stress and uh, enjoying a work-life balance uh, really come down to a number of things that you can do in work and then also having an interest out of work. I think within work it's really important to have a catch-all system so that you can record all your commitments, uh, all your appointments, etc., uh, your goals and the tasks that you want to do today so that you have those all in one place. Of course, it's very important to have goals set in the first place so you know where you are and equally it's very important to track your progress towards those goals so that you know what progress you're making towards them. Um, Outside of work, then, it's, it's, it's really of critical importance to have some form of outlet. And, th and that outlet is different for, for, for every person. For some, it's sport of some description. It could be bashing a squash ball around the court. It could be uh, running 10K. Um, and for others, it's a much more serene event. So it could be cooking or it could be going for a, a walk out uh, with friends uh, along the pier or whatever the case may be. But what is also very important is that you have someone in whom uh, you can confide so that very often for people that's, uh, that's a spouse, so it's a husband or a wife that you go home to and, and, and tell them all about the stresses of the day. But for other people, it's, it's someone with whom you've got a close relationship or a close friendship and you can confide in them and tell them maybe things that you wouldn't tell other people and certainly maybe not other people in work. <laughs>